What's up, everybody? Welcome back to Red Thorns Gaming. We got Lineage 2 Revolution in front of you right now. Harden Buff just went off. We are looking at a Fortress Siege today. This is number 31 in the series. So let's get started with what's going on. This is about five, four minutes before the beginning of the battle. I am looking at 11.5 million combat power difference between the King Kingdom of Aiden here at number one and Stark Industries at 194 million here at number two. Yeah, that's, I mean, that's kind of big, but we all know combat power doesn't mean a whole heck of a lot. So let's see what Stark, actually Stark Industries are the defenders. So let's see what the Kingdom of Aiden paid for the right to challenge Stark Industries for this fortress. This is for an A-grade fortress. Kingdom of Aiden, 125 million. 696,969 Adena for the right to challenge Stark Industries for this A Grey Fort. Let's head into the battlefield. Two and a half minutes to go. Stark Industries on top in the blue. Kingdom of Aiden on the bottom in the red. There is Stark Industries leader, Arse. Great name right there. And that was kind of easy finding Stark Industries leader. Uh, I wish that would happen a little bit more often, to be honest with you. Let's head on down to the other team. I think I'm going to call them Koa. K-O-A, Koa, there is their leader, Pole Dancer. So we have Arse and Pole Dancer as the leaders of their respective clans. That is outstanding. Koa, they are the attackers. I will be following them as per usual. One minute and 30 seconds before this battle begins. 60 seconds before this battle begins. 30 seconds before this battle begins. 10 seconds before this battle begins. Five seconds before this battle begins. And here we go. Fortress Siege number 31, Stark Industries versus the Kingdom of Aiden. Koa being met halfway by a couple of SI. Koa working on the left side. Defense tower of the non-spawn gate of SI. And the right side tower is gone that was quick this other one is going down I don't see anybody imprinting Koa finally trying to get their imprint in the non-spawn gate of Stark Industries has been taken down Koa has been interrupted Stark Industries finally Wow Koa already running in there and getting some holy art or yeah holy artifact imprint time. Three minutes for a 10% buff for Koa. What is Stark Industries doing? They are not able to get their altar, but the Kingdom of Aiden is getting it now. Holy moly, three seconds, two seconds, one second, 30% buff for the next two and a half minutes for the Kingdom of Aiden. Wow, Stark Industries is being outplayed right now. There is Koa's leader, or, or was, but looks like they died in lag. He ran in, took a shot at the Holy Artifact defense tower, and ran out. That was outstanding. Wow, Kingdom of Aiden wasting no time right now. But it looks like the defense tower of the non-spawn gate of Koa has finally been taken down. The red team has started imprinting the Holy Artifact. The red team has failed to imprint the Holy Artifact. I mean, we're we're only 27 minutes and 43 seconds into, <laughs> left in this fight, and the Kingdom of Aiden is establishing dominance by far right now. They've got to be probably a one or two seconds ahead in imprint time right now, <laughs> and we've been in less than five minutes. But it doesn't look like they're taking advantage of that 30% 30, 30 buff right now. Big battle over here. At the spawn gate of Stark Industries. 
That sounds like the non-spawn gate of Kingdom of Aiden. He is just going to sit there and get onesies and twosies as quickly as he can. That is insane. This is kind of dark to me. Let's turn this up. There we go. All right. 30 seconds remaining in Kingdom of Aiden's 30% buff. They managed to get... He is getting time and time and time. There is a ton of Stark Industries around here. And they just cannot stop this guy. Got a lot of time left though. Even the computer, the server can't keep up with the... <sighs> Alright. Koa interrupted on their own altar. Three seconds left under 10% buff. Stuck Industries altar available for imprints. Trying to get their own right now. King Aiden over halfway. Stuck Industries interrupted. Interrupted it again. Both teams interrupted. And that may have been the Holy Artifact Defense Tower of Kingdom of Aiden. Yes, it was. It's like Stark Industries is taking it slow. Almost like they're trying to go for the win instead of a long, protracted fight. Let's see how this is faring right now. Oh! Koa, almost there, interrupted. It looked like almost at the last second. Both teams unable to get their alter imprint right now. Koa trying for Stark Industries. Interrupted. Koa trying for their own. Stark Industries trying for theirs. Both teams interrupted. Koa getting more Holy Artifact imprint time. That stuff is starting to add up over time. Stark Industries needs to do something to try to catch up a little bit at least. Unless they're looking for a couple of big ones and then stretch the fight out for a little bit. Neither team able to get their alter imprint right now. Stark Industries trying for their, theirs and Koa trying for theirs. Both interrupted. The Kingdom of Aiden is destroying Stark Industries in kills right now at 437 and counting versus Stark Industries 200. Kingdom of Aiden, 10% buff for the next three minutes. All right. Not looking good for Stark Industries, but they've already defended against one 30% buff. There's no reason why they can't do it again. Of course, Koa has to get that 30% buff, and they are halfway to doing that. Interrupted. Koa trying again. No stock industries around here. Koa over halfway. Three seconds, two seconds, one second. 30% buff for the next two minutes and 13 seconds. Let's see if Kingdom of Aiden can take advantage of the 30% buff this time. They have a lot of time. Almost as much as they had the first time around. But it's slowly ticking down. There's Pole. No, he's dead. I guess he didn't want to resurrect. And that was the other... Holy Artifact Defense Tower of Kingdom of Aiden. Here's ours, finally trying to get some time. Uh, he got it. Wow, he died very quickly. Let's see if he's going to resurrect. Oh, 
Koa getting more time. Arse. Ars is either waiting or he's not jamming. They're not going to let you get up, bro. Nope. I guess he was waiting. Interesting. Alright, there goes a Holy Artifact Defense Tower of Stark Industries. Kingdom of Aiden with 55 seconds left and the 30% buffed. Here comes Pole Dancer. Getting more time. Havoc took him down quickly, but it took him a couple of seconds to to do it. Or not to do it, but to find him. He was right in front of him. 30 seconds remaining on Koa's 30% buff. Stark Industries doing a good job of defending against the complete loss. But that Holy Artifact Defense Tower is almost gone. Might as well count that one done. 10 seconds remaining with 30% buff for Koa. He's down, he's up, he's down, he's up. He's getting time. I've only seen Ars once down here. There he comes. And he was killed before he could even touch it. Great defense by Koa. Koa over halfway on their own altar imprint. Three seconds left on their 10% buff. 20 minutes remaining in this the battle. King of Aiden, 10% buff for the next three minutes. Let's see what's going on with the fight for the altar. Koa, three seconds, two seconds, one second, 30% buff for the next two minutes and 33 seconds. Almost exactly like the first time. This is their third time of getting a 30% buff. For all purposes, I would say Stark Industries is getting outplayed right now. Severely out outplayed. No, I don't know if it's... I mean, it's... it's what was it? 11.5 CP? 11.5 million CP difference, but... We've seen bigger bigger differences that didn't make any difference. But apparently it makes a difference in this one. SI coming down here. Where's ours? The red team has started imprinting the holy artifact. The red team has nope. failed to imprint the holy I don't think Kingdom of Aiden is going to win this fight through a full imprint. If they're gonna win this fight, it's gonna be that way there's there's ours with no backup whatsoever oh he had an opportunity to get up a, a couple of seconds at least and he's just laying there I guess SI is not going to be gemming this that makes me wonder what's really going on here because I don't know. Anybody can make an assumption. I don't like to make assumptions. I like to base things off of facts. And what I'm seeing factually right now is that Stark Industries is not doing too well. Kingdom of Aiden, if this goes the entire 30 minutes, um, I'm good grief, they're going to be at least 70 plus seconds in Holy Artifact imprint time. Speaking of seconds, they have... 30 seconds remaining on the 30% buff. There's a lot of blue around here. Just, I never understood why people surround the Holy Artifact. It Doesn't it make more sense to stop them before they can get there in the first place? Maybe stand somewhere around here 
at the choke point and stop him from coming in. Of course, you have both choke points open now. The altar of wind has been reset. Koa getting their own altar imprint right now. Less than 17 minutes remaining in this battle. Pole Dancer. I mean, he is just walking through everybody and getting time. Koa halfway through their own and trying for Stark Industries. Koa, two seconds, one second, 10% buff in the next three minutes. Well, he got some time, but not what they actually needed to catch up. And Koa, for the fourth time in a row, the 30% buff in the next 2 minutes, 10 seconds. The red team has started imprinting Old answer. It's just waltzing right up there. They are just letting him waltz up there. The red team has started imprinting the holy artifact. The red team has failed to imprint the holy artifact. The red team has started imprinting. And what's really interesting is that the red team has failed Stark Industry or Stark Industries Kingdom of Aiden is not really sending any kind of backup with him because they don't need to. He for whatever reason, he is waltzing into their territory right up to the holy artifact and getting time. And he's doing it every time he walks in. The red team has started imprinting the holy artifact. That was a couple seconds right there, probably. Wow. Koa, great battle plan. Whatever it is, it is working. Stark Industries just does not look like they know what is really going on here right now. They cannot even get arse down here to get some serious time in fact he's dying before he even gets there which is what I've been saying forever stop him before they even get in but Stark Industries is, isn't listening uh, obviously no they're gonna surround the holy artifact and allow him just to waltz up and get it The Makes me wonder, is there... I mean, they got some people here. So, the, it looks like they're trying to de defend. Oh. Oh. Ha. <laughs> is Stark Industries getting open siege right now? Not even able to get out of their... Out of their spawn area? And he's and pole dancer is probably coming in through this route right now. Wow. Kingdom of Aiden with a 10% buff for the next 2 minutes 40 seconds and working on that 30% for the 5th time. Koa. 5th time in a row. 30% buff. 2 minutes 23 seconds of it. The red team has started imprinting the holy artifact. Pole dancer's coming from the left. He's coming from the right. They have a battle plan. They are executing it rather perfectly. Where's the rest of this going? The red team has failed to imprint the holy artifact. 
The red team has started imprinting the holy artifact. The red team has failed to imprint the holy artifact. Interestingly enough, Koa's spawn gate has yet to be taken down. We still have a full defense tower at full health. Are they getting uh, spawn camped again? Well, King Kingdom of Aiden, I know they lost. I think it, it was right after the merge. They lost that first one. They may have lo lost the week after that, but it doesn't look like they're going to lose this one. Koa, less than a minute, 30% buff. 11 minutes remaining in this battle. The red team's gate has been destroyed. The red team's defense tower has been destroyed. Finally, the spawn gate of Koa has been taken down. And Koa is just not allowing ours to get any kind of real time. Koa only has a 10% buff in the next 30 seconds, but they are already trying for that 30%. Oh, Kingdom of Aiden with a huge amount of time right there. Got it down to 8 seconds before winning this battle. Kingdom of Aiden got their own author inference and are now working on Stark Industries. I can't really say this is a good fight. Not for Stark Industries. I mean, they're doing a great job of defending against the 30% buff that Koa has been consistently getting, but they are getting... Severely outplayed, in my opinion. I mean, they've probably... Koa's probably up by at least 30 to 50 seconds. I know that's a big spread right there, but, you know, can't see it, so you've got to guess. Less than nine minutes remaining in this battle. Koa looks like they're having a little trouble getting that 30% buff this time around, but they're over halfway to it. We're three seconds, two seconds. Nope, interrupted. Good job there, Stark Industries. The red team has started but here comes Pole Dancer again. That was a lot of meteors for somebody who was probably already dead. 30% buff for the next one minute and 16 seconds for Koa. Big battle down here around Koa's. There's ours trying to get some time. And he's doing it. Oh, that was a big. That was a big one for ours. And for Stark Industries. But was it enough? Probably not. He got it down to 10. He got down to 10. So at least they showed it can be done, at least. I guess the 30% buff. <laughs> now he needs to do it again. Like five more times. Or he needs to win this fight. Looks like Koa man, pulls their forces back a little bit. 
what she's doing. My cat is doing something crazy. As cats always do. Come on down here. Nope. But it doesn't matter. You're going to hear that a lot more over the next 6 minutes and 52 seconds. Ars has died. Pole Dancer has died. <laughs> oh, great names. Dancer back at it again. The red team has failed to imprint the holy artifact. The altar of wind has been imprinted. King of Aiden, 30% buff, 50 seconds. We have six minutes remaining in this battle. Kingdom of Aiden dominating this fight right now. No doubt in my mind. Pole Dancer getting one second here, two seconds there. They must be so far ahead he doesn't even want to want a gem raise. What's the point with five and a half minutes left? Unless Stark Industries does something drastic. And it doesn't look like King Kingdom of Aiden is going to allow that to happen. Comes Pole Dancer again. They just went around a whole bunch of people straight to the Holy Artifact and started imprinting. Five minutes remaining in this battle. Old answer. Back at it again. Koa. Trying to get that 30% buff for like what? The seventh time? Halfway there. Three seconds. Two seconds. One second. 30% buff for the next one minute and 18 seconds. Not as long as the beginning ones. Oh, there goes ours. We didn't get much though. Did not get much. Four minutes remaining in this battle. Kingdom of Aiden leading by a far and wide margin at this point, I believe. And not only that. They have 1,733 kills versus Stark Industries 862. That is, I don't think I've seen that in a very, very long time. And I've never seen that done against Stark Industries. But it's being done right now. It's the first time for everything, for sure. I, let's see, big battle going over here at the spawn gate of Stark Industries. Ars trying for some time. And didn't get much. Dead bodies everywhere. Three minutes remaining in this battle. Full dancer up and at it again. Getting a massive amount of time right here. Ten seconds before they win. Six seconds. 
Four seconds. Two seconds. And congratulations to the Kingdom of Aiden. They didn't even bother to make it last for the full 30 minutes. They took that holy artifact with about what, two and a half minutes or a little less than that. Congratulations to Ms. Agro for taking the number one spot. Here are your stats. Well-deserved win by the Kingdom of Aiden. I, I, I don't know what else to say. Stark Industries was outplayed from what I saw. But it was a good fight nonetheless. It almost went the whole 30 minutes. And unfortunately, there were no other real fights. There are your stats. Ladies and gentlemen, Koa taking a first, second, third, fourth, and fifth place. Great job. All right. Hit subscribe if you haven't. It's free to do so. And come hang out with me on Facebook and Twitter. Thanks so much for watching, and I will see you again.